All right. A different voice but same message regarding the crisis rocking opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP. At the PDP Southwest meeting with its presidential candidate, Atikwa Bubaka, the governor of your state, Shei Makide, demanded resignation of the national chairman of the party, Iyo Chaayu. Governor Makide said if the PDP wants to unify Nigeria, they must unify the PDP first. Uh, let's share the story of the meeting with you. It's less than six months to the 2023 general elections and politicians across political parties are working towards resolving their differences in order to approach the elections as a united body. But for some months now, the People's Democratic Party is faced with internal crises. As a camp lawyer to the River State Governor, Yesom Wike, is demanding for the resignation of the party's chairman, Iyocha Ayu, in order to enable a replacement from the southern part of Nigeria. Included in the top Iraq. Speaking at the Southwest Stakeholders meeting held in Ibadan, the Oyo State Governor said he wants the National Working Committee of the party restructured through the resignation of the National Chairman of the party. By asking the National Chairman to step down so that, so that the PDP in the southern part of the country will be included in the top hierarchy of PDP. In his response, the People's Democratic Party's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, gave reasons why the party chairman cannot be removed at this time. He stated that the removal of the party's chairman can only be done according to the constitution of the party. I have no problem from wherever any member of the party comes from, but, but it must be done in accordance with our constitution, our regulations, and our practices. Therefore, what Governor Shei is calling for is achievable under our constitution it is a time for us to select the appropriate medication for Nigeria because Nigeria is sick. I'm sure you know the economic policies that they drove together with his boss that brought about prosperity for Nigeria. That is what we are going to witness by the grace of God under his leadership. Groups in the party to share their swords and give room for peace to reign. Olaide Oyewole, TVC News, Ibadan. All right, there you have it. Governor Shimaki, they also demanding for IU's removal. Now, gentlemen, is this a case of Esau's hand or Jacob's <laughs> voice? Well, um, for me, Governor Makinde spoke true to power mm. yesterday, irrespective of whose horse is God. From, um, Governor Mackinde is so obvious, you know where he stands. He has not shaken and he has made, remained consistent with his uh, right hand man, Nyansu uh, Wike, and, uh, and his twin brother, Ekwazu. Uh, <laughs> 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 but the truth of the matter is that the question we should ask is that what they are asking for is it right or is it wrong? And the fact remains that. Within the party constitution, as they had, all of them are brand new, it has always been, there been this gentleman agreement right from 1999 mm. that once you have a chairman from the north, the presidential candidate must come from the south. And this is where they find themselves now. And they are saying that just let's change this so that we can move forward. And so people are dancing around it. But the paradox for me there is I will ask is it more like a payback time for someone like Governor? Yes, we can. Remember vividly, we had they ha we have a PDP national chairman before this. Uche Secondus is from River State. He's the same governor Wiki that was so consistent and feeling that made sure that Uche Secondus were removed. That is Stan man. He's from the same state with him. I believe that he miscalculated. For me, personally, I'd be wrong. He felt that Secondus being the chairman of PDP was going to rob him 
the presidential ticket. And that mm. was why. Mm. I'm, I, I'm just I'm telling you, you know, people should look at this from, I'm talking as a student of politics. You may not know it. These politicians, they think faster than you. Why you are, you are thinking, yes, some, some of them are already thinking of what is going to happen in three years' time. And that is, to me, is the problem. So, at the end of it all, what happened? It was U.S. of U.K., um, a governor of um, uh, Governor Tom, and some of them that brought about, they were the one that was, I don't forget that there were so many other candidates that were going for that national mm. push. They were the one that side, they, were, they, they pushed and pushed for Ayu. Ayu has been elected. Now, UK didn't get what he got, he wanted. He wanted the president, he thought, he thought he was saying it, he that it's, only, it's him or no other person. I remember when he went to Rwanda and said that, the kind of things he said. And it was part of those positions that made someone like Peter B, who is now making some kind of this thing, to, to, to leave PDP. Leave the party. Yes. Now, the uh, chicken has come home to roost. Whether PDP like it or not, you have to assuage the people that are agitating, especially those of... It wasn't Makede that spoke right. yesterday. It was the Southwest. Mm. And the other part of the... The question you want to ask yourself, I think we was talking about constitution, which is more viable and which is more important to you? Having... Certain um, uh, Satanists voting for you, or having someone like are you, who is the chairman, current chairman of the party? All right. In, uh, in, in, for in you, the, Mr. Dada, how possible is this um, resignation, considering that the PDP um, neck just passed the vote of uh, confidence on your child? I think PDP is not serious. Mm. PDP is like a man who takes a gun and begins to shoot his own foot. You know, I'm wondering. Is this the same PDP which national, former national chairman Vincent Ogulafo boasted that will rule for 60 years in 2008? As of 2008, PDP was controlling 28 states. In fact, before Ogulafo became chairman, PDP was controlling 21 states. It increased to 28 states. PDP also increased its representation in the National Assembly. Is it the same PDP? The same PDP that boasted that it was the biggest political party in Africa. This PDP has not even learned a lesson from what happened when it became what fractious, and then you had the MPDP, you know, uh, moving out. Now, the PDP has bungled the opportunity to become a formidable opposition party, you know. Unlike the APC, where PDP was holding sway, you know the avoc, so to say, that Lai La La Mohammed cost, <laughs> you know, for, for that party. Now, it is not a formidable opposition party, and it is not even positioning itself to become, to take to rest power from, from, uh, from APC. Now, let's look at it this way. Yeah, Wike may have been, uh, may have always had his way. But you have your way when you are at a position of strength. Wiki is at a position of strength. And I'll tell you why. Now, PDP as things stand now has lost the Southeast. Mm. Because the Southeast is largely obedient. The Southeast used to, uh, used to follow PDP mostly. But now, the Southeast is obedient. Uh, uh, Wike is the strongest man, PDP man, in the South-South. This is a man who has given all to the party. This is a man that stood with the party, even when people like Atiku were, were jumping from one party to another. There was no time that Wike ever abandoned that party. Now, Wike is not even saying, give me the, God, the president. The, uh, I mean, he's no more saying that. He lost it. Fine. Even if he thinks it, it was betrayal, you know, even if he thinks it was betrayal, he lost it. He's now saying that it does not make sense. And that's what Shea Makede also said, that it does not make sense for, in the tradition of our party, what has always been since, uh, since 1999, that it, it's been the tradition of our party that the presidential candidate or the president and the chairman cannot come from the same, uh, uh, from the same region. This same Dr. Yoshahayu said that if a northerner should become oh, the chairman, I would resign. You see, I think all of this, 
I don't even see if this. I don't even see PDP coming second All right, in this but, election. Um, the presidential candidate of the party has said that um, are you removal is possible only when the constitution of the party is amended. Is it cast on stone? Is that constitution cast on mm. stone? Let me tell you. I know where you is coming. Um, where um, Atiku is coming from. By the constitution of PDP, and I believe most other political parties, APC and the rest of them, if you remove some, a national chairman like that, the next person to take over from him is going to come from that same geopolitical zone. That is what the constitu their constitution says. It didn't say that I remove him and put another person. Except you go to a, a convention. It has happened before. You remember what also happened, even within APC, I remember when, at a point that um, the APC was having issue, up to the point where Late Ajmobi had to you remember we had to come in as a, an interim national chairman. Mm, yeah. That is what I would. But that does not necessarily mean that that um, they cannot work out this. But let me tell you the problem here. Even within the PDP itself, and these all those agitating, the issue is that let me take someone like Governor Makinde, for example. He's coming for a second time and he's a PDP, PDP uh, governor. If he comes to the election, he doesn't back his presidential candidate, that means you want to tell his people to vote for another person. Then, the same people are going to vote for another president, we want to vote for a PTP governor. Right. It has happened before, and they failed with it, just quickly. It's happened when, um, in, you remember in 1999, the Southwest did not vote for OBJ. In, 20, in 2003, they decided, oh, let us back our own. Where AD came in, AD said, we we'll vote for a um, uh, PDP presidential candidate who was right. a passenger. Then uh, um, um, AD governors, at the end of it all, they lost that election. They oh, lost all the right. states to PDP. So that is why they should be very, very careful.